everybody. Welcome to another video. If you have watched my recent mail call, you saw that I got a number of TS-1000 slash ZX81 goodies in. And I want to test them here on the system. This is my ZX81. I don't have a memory pack plugged into it right now. So, I only have 2K of memory available. If you ever want to check how much memory you have available, if you look in the manual on page 124, there's a quick little line of code that you can type in. that will tell you the last free space of RAM that you have. So if I type this in, print P16388 plus 256 times peak 16389, this will tell me where my RAM ends with a 2K system. And you see that it ends at 17408. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off put my ZX80, or ZX16K RAM back in there is a little slide oh, the wire was in the way there we go plug that in it takes a little longer to, to set memory up because there's memory there to work with i got to type in the same thing again print peak 16388 plus 256 times peak one six three eight nine and now I have three two seven six eight so what now is happening now in the ZX81 is the first 8k of memory is the ROM the next 8k is unused it's an open area and then the next 16k is RAM so from what is it uh, da, 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 my one six three I'm not sure exactly off the top of my head. I'll play it around, I'll blur it out what I'm thinking. But from 16K to 32K is RAM. So we got 16K of RAM in there. So that RAM pack is 16K. Now the next RAM pack I have is that data is set one that I showed in the video. It came with the, still came with the case. This is a nice little small RAM pack. And I'm going to open this thing up and see how it's set up inside. But for now, I just want to check, make sure the RAM is working on that one. So I'll get in there, wait for it to test out RAM. Then I type in print peak. Peak 16388 plus 256 times peak 16389. You may wonder why is it like this? Why is it peak 16388+256 that's so you can avoid parentheses. It makes it, it's using, because normally what I would do is I would do peak 16389 times 256, and I put that in parentheses, and then plus peak 16388. This makes it a little easier to type. So with this RAM pack in, I have 32768 uh, 32, available also, with 16K. Now the last memory pack I've got is the memo pack 16k this is the one that had a crack on the bottom it's broken and all the little pins were bent and folded in it looked as if someone had stepped on it or crushed it somehow but i re-glued that and then i sat there and i bent up all these pins to make contact again and this one i like also because it has an expansion port on the back what that does i'll show you in a minute how you can use it so first off we put this one in I like the layout of that RAM pack better than the other one. It doesn't stick up oddly, it just sits right there neat. When you turn on your ZX81 or your TS1000, and see I got a blue screen? Something did not seep right in this RAM pack. But when you turn on your system, and if you get the K immediately, your 16K did not get seated correctly. If you don't get the K, your 16k your RAM pack didn't get seated correctly. So this one does have issues because of those bent pinouts. I'm probably gonna have to put a whole new connector on it, but for now I just want to try it. I want to see if I can get it to work right. It's giving me difficulties. Let's see something here. Oh, see this thing doesn't. That's what it is. It doesn't have a key on it, so it wasn't even lining up. Try that again. There we go. 
Now let's just check and see how much memory we got in this one. If you hear people talking in the background, that's my office neighbor. I don't want to be mean and say, hey, be quiet. There we go, 32K on that one also. Now, I want to show you something fascinating. I'm going to take that, there, that one right there, and I'm going to take a ZXZ, the ZX16K RAM, and plug it in back. See the expansion connector here? I'm going to plug it in there. I'm going to turn it on. Now I'm going to turn this on. It will only initialize itself to 16K again. If I didn't move things around on it. This memo pack is sliding around. I have to change that connector. Okay, so that was probably the worst case of RAM pack wall boy I've ever had. That's because it's damaged too. So but now we're in there and let's just make sure again. So the 16K has become initialized. I'm not moving it. And I'm going to plug in the data set one in the back. And we'll give it a shot again and see if it works the way it's supposed to. It's not that the, RAM, the memo pack has a problem. It's that connector is bad. i got to replace that connector. So it looks like we still have only 16K. Print, peak, 1, 6, 3, 8, 8. Plus 256 times peak 16389. Hey, 63 63389. Thank you. Alright, so I recognize only the 32 or the 16k RAM pack. I need to now tell it that there's actually more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it, I'm going to poke. One six three eight nine, comma one nine zero. Was it one ninety? Twenty eight plus one ninety two. I'm sorry. One ninety two. What I'm doing is I'm setting the new high rank, high memory position to be at 48k which allows for the 32k of RAM after the 16k that's used in the beginning. Once I put that in there I type in new. Takes a while to initialize it. And if I print my now I got 16389 plus 256 times P163 Nine and I made a mistake back here. Eight plus two five six times peak one six three eight nine. So there we go. Now the RAM goes all the way up to forty eight K, which gives me thirty two K of RAM. First eight K is ROM. The next eight K is unused. The next thirty two K is RAM. By piggybacking off of that. So it's pretty cool. I do have to repair this memo pack though. And unfortunately it's not as simple as just remove that connector and put another connector in because the connector would, I don't know if you can see it in there, but the connector goes through the circuit board 
and connects to this little edge connector on the other side. So I gotta repair this thing in place without changing it. But I shall do that. And yeah, nice little quick video there showing me attempting to get the ramp packs to work right and in the end making them work. Hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.